Today I'm heading to Bastrop, Texas. Located less than an hour outside of Austin, Bastrop is quickly earning its own reputation as a haven for fun and adventure. Here's what to do on a family-friendly weekend escape to Bastrop. For a bird's eye view of this beautiful area, book a tour at Zip Lost Pines, home to six side-by-side -side zip lines that zoom above McKinney Ruff's nature park. Have you ever had anyone come up that ended up getting scared and not being able to finish the course? <laughs> yes, that has happened, but it's very rare. Our very first line is a little smaller and they build from there. Once you um, reach number three, where they have the really big valley views, if you can get through one and two, you can do the rest. Main Street is the heartbeat of Bastrop, bustling with unique shops and restaurants, including Maxine's, which has been a hot spot for home cooking since 1997. Now tell me about these pancakes. We, we come a little cake and they're a big pancake about this big and everybody oohs and ahs when they get served one. We also do the stacker, which is a Texas monthly stacker, we call it. Uh, it's 12 pancakes and it comes with a quarter pound of bacon. So that's very popular too. Shocked by the size of Maxine's pancakes? Then you'll really get a scare out of the life-size creations at Dinosaur Park an outdoor museum dedicated to our prehistoric past. Walking trail with 30 life-size dinosaur statues, prehistoric animals, and then there's other activities, playground, gift store. What is your personal favorite out here? Of the dinosaurs out here, I've got to say my favorite is the Carnotaurus. It's just, it's, it's a bizarre dinosaur. It has very tiny arms, even compared to T-Rex. It's got horns on its head. It's just very unique, and I, I like that about it. <laughs> After seeing a T-Rex, I bet you're wondering, where the fudge are we going next? That's easy, the Sugar Shack, where you can get everything from candy to ice cream to, you guessed it, fudge. What was it like for you being a kid growing up and your mom owns a candy shop? I had a lot of friends because they all wanted candy. <laughs> and really, it was just fun being able to grow up in a business and just see how much it progressed. Mm -hmm. Because 23 years, that's a long time. Yeah, that was long before I was born. I'm only 15 years old. We hope you've enjoyed our Bastrop Weekend Escape. And remember, when in doubt, just take the trip.